comes out of here. The machine's on the bottom, like shining a beam upwards. And this is the primary collimator of the beam, and these are secondary collimators. And as the beam comes out of the machine, these leaves move in and out, uh, uh, adjusting the intensity of the dose. They block out you know, some of the dose in some areas, and they allow dose in other areas. And you wouldn't believe how much you can do with that concept once you get a computing software program that will allow you to adjust those dose gradients across a field. So when the beam is on, these things are all moving in and out, uh, uh, adjusting for dose intensity, basically. And that's the whole concept of modulation. We won't get any more complex than that. Uh, this stuff starts to look like Chinese algebra pretty quick, I can tell you. Uh, very, very complex calculations that go with it. But the point is, is that by using this type of a system with these uh, uh, tertiary collimators, you can adjust the dose inside of a three-dimensional volume. I'll show you an example of that here in just a couple of seconds. And this was the last 2D treatment plan done at Boca Raton Community Hospital. I did it in 1995. Uh, uh, back then, this was all we knew about what radiation was doing to somebody. This is sort of a contour you know, of a patient laying on a table here in the blue. Uh, uh, this is what's called the, the classic four-field box uh, a technique. I've done this thousands of times over the years. We literally used colored pencils to outline the volumes inside of people. Uh, we were not imaginative either. Yellow is bladder, brown is rectum, prostate gland is blue, uh, the bones are, are, are black out there. And this is basically a dose gradient.